as you rightly said, the Ronaldo thing still seems yeah. to dominate uh, the front of the sun this morning. Why I blanked Gary Neville. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, inside, when asked if he counts Rooney and Neville amongst his friends, the striker responded, they're not my friends, they're colleagues. We play together. They're not coming. We're not ever having dinner together. And that's fair enough, isn't it? I mean, yeah. they don't have to be his friends. I mean, ultimately, I would suspect if they didn't speak out with their views of what they think then perhaps he might have a different view to them. I mean, I'm struggling with this whole thing, Jim. We've only seen a couple of minutes of it, and we're all, you know, launching these a thousand opinions. But I find it very difficult to understand why anyone wouldn't... Some of the allegations that are being made about the lack of respect and sensitivity towards tragedies, I can't imagine... Allegations made by whom? About whom? But, you know, from what we've seen, the clips from Ronaldo to Piers Morgan, I understand why this is a great scoop for Piers Morgan. I don't understand why Cristiano Ronaldo would want to give him this and turn it into what it potentially is going to be turned into because I think ultimately Cristiano Ronaldo will be in grave jeopardy of coming out of this in the wrong way and people will look at it the wrong way. Because I think he already has done. I, I look at it and say I find it difficult having been a club owner and being in a situation and I have a strong attitude towards players yeah. and I'm a strong person and I can lack empathy at times with situations. If a player came to me with the tragedies that Cristiano Ronaldo has, come, has experienced in his life and was having a difficulty with another child, there's not a parallel universe where anybody's going to turn around and disrespect that and demand that a player turns up for training. I find that difficult to get my head around. Yeah. I look at this and say, if this were Man United doing this to him about what he was doing, he'd be he'd be citing constructive dismissal. Mm. This feels like a player, very much like a player, wanting to get out of something. And I'm so surprised that people like Graham Souness, I listen to him on Piers Morgan, I'm so surprised the take that they have, which is in some way, this guy has justification for behaving in a way which is basically I want assurances, I want to get what I want when I want it and if I don't get it, I'm going to have a problem with it. No one can be told that they're going to play forever. Graham was talking about him yesterday on Piers Morgan playing for, in the Brighton game and the Brentford game, but he didn't. He was on the bench for the Brighton game. They lost that game without him and they lost the game at Brentford and people are going to change teams. And I find it, this guy is getting drunk on his own recognisability and he'll end up in the bloody junk jungle with Matt Hancock in a year's time if he doesn't carry on, if he carries on in this way. <laughs> because I look at it and I, I find it disappointing because he is a wonderful player. Oh, I know, but we're sick of hearing that. You know, he is. And I agree he with is. you. And, agree. and, and Graham yeah. gave him this example about how he behaved at Liverpool as if it was some form of excuse because he got mm. something that he didn't like. I found, I find it depressing because players drive the football world, but there is, a, there, is a, there is a chain of authority and they aren't the end game. And yes, he's got half a billion followers. And yes, they can sensationalise it and turn it into this awful life story. But we are talking about a player that's getting paid half a million pound a week by people like the Glazers who purport that he suggests don't care about the football club. Has he yeah. forgot that they're paying him half a million pounds a week? Well, exactly. That's such a good point, Simon. Um, he's, he's picking everybody off now in this interview with Piers Morgan. He wants out and of there, Jim. And my understanding of it is, is that there are people running around trying to get South American players, in, influential people that might be attached to Ronaldo, trying to get South American players into Man United because they know they're getting Ronaldo out. Think about that when we listen to this 90-minute interview on Wednesday and Thursday. Think about the backstory behind what's really going on here. This is a player that clearly doesn't want to be at Man United because it doesn't fit where he thinks he should be. I know. I mean, who's going to have him next? Who'd have them? There'll always be. There'll be a backside. There'll be a seat for every backside. Do you think? Uh, yeah, because he ultimately... can forget about earning top dollar, though, surely. Well, maybe, and other people will look at it differently. He'll land somewhere. The tragedy is, if, it, if it's not important to him, it will be in the future. He has such a wonderful reputation. He has been such had. a wonderful player. Maybe mm, had. Ha you know, things are temporary. But this, this <laughs> conduct now, this decision, think, this decision, I mean... I think Ale many United fans have finished with him. Alex Crook made an observation on the weekend and called him a coward by dropping it. And I think he's half right by dropping it. I don't think it's cowardice. I think it's structured um, well, damage. Well, no, he's gone after everybody. I mean, um, yesterday we, we, we heard what he said about Ten Hag and that he feels betrayed by the club. This is Manchester United, Simon. When I think of Manchester United, I think of Sir Alex. I think of uh, Sir Bobby Charlton. I, th I think of George Best. I think of United. But this is what they've all done to I don't really think of him. But this and is what they've all done to it, Jim. This is what years of poor management from Ed Woodward, lack of discipline. This is what three years of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and bad decisions with other managers that have allowed them to live in hotels. This is the diminishing of Man United that enables well, the situation to come to the fore where there's such disarray in there that players now believe they can behave in this well, way. Exactly. I mean, how, he, how he's struggling to go through life with 400 grand a week, I don't really know. And now he's got his sights set on the Glazers. The Glazers, they don't care about 
about the club. As you know, this Manchester is a marketing club. They will get his money from the marketing. The sports, they don't really care, in my opinion. Do you ever talk to them, the Glazers? Never. Never? Never. Not since you've gone back? No. They give all the power to the president, the sport directive. The fans should know the truth, should know that the players, we want the best for the club. I want the best of the club. This is why I'm coming to Manchester United. This is why I love this club. But you have some things inside the club which is don't help to Manchester reach the top level as City, Liverpool and even now Arsenal, for example, which is, is complicated. It's difficult. It's hard. In my opinion, it will be hard for Manchester to be in the top of the game the next two, three years. I mean, United, for their part, Simon, very short statement. The club will consider its response after the full facts have been established. They're quite right. They're going to wait. And that's, see and that, and that's why we're interview. seeing clips. I, I really do hope, given the scale and interest in this interview, I do hope that we're going to see an interview that is conducted with people pushing back on, on observations being I'm made sure by Renault. I do but hope so. Piers because Morgan, he's no fool. I hope so, because what we're seeing at this moment in time is, is, a, is a one-way interview. transaction. Yes, I, listen, yeah. we, 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 I disagree on the principles of it, because I look at it and go, it's a footballer that wants to leave a football club, let him leave. And it's about as interesting to me as that. And I understand but why... But it's not. But I understand why other people will look at it differently. I don't. I look at it and go, if he wants to go, get rid of him, move on. OK, it's Ronaldo, fine, so what? You move on. Man United is bigger than Cristiano. I don't give a monkey's about his half a million social media followers. No. You know, I don't care about all that nonsense. But I do hope that we're going to see a proper interrogated interview. I hope when he turns around and says people disrespect me, I hope that we're going to hear specifically which executives, which president he's talking about, because he referred to the president. Which president are you talking about? Which people specifically and explicitly disrespected you and disregarded very big challenges in your life? Yeah. Name them and shame them. Let's have it. If you're going to have the balls to do it, because what we don't want is we don't want another Meghan Markle Prince Harry interview by Oprah <laughs> Winfrey, which is basically sensationalised headlines with no interrogation. So if you want to have well, your I truth... I care about that one, but I care about this interview you because, yeah, because it, it's it, it impacts many, many people uh, globally because Ronaldo, as you say, well, I mean, is you, such a force. But you say that, Jim. If you start accusing uh, the royal family of being racist, it also affects a lot of people. So we do have to be balanced in the fact that uh, interviews uh, need to be done well. Uh, yeah, but I've forgotten, I've forgotten about that interview totally. Okay. In regards this... Yeah, sure, because I think everything changes now for Ronaldo. You saw him arrive at the Portuguese camp, Bruno Fernandes, extremely dismissive of him, it would seem. I wonder what other players are now thinking of him. And now there's a bit of pushback, Gary Neville quite rightly indulging a bit of humour about it all. I mean, he's gone too far and one wonders where it's going to take him. And I wonder now, Simon, who will take him after this? Well, That's the thing. Well, don't we all hope that when this interview is conducted and we see the length and breadth of the proper interrogative evaluation that we get a rounded picture and everybody reaps what they sows? Yes. Yeah. That's what we hope for, don't we? We hope that the people that have behaved badly get their just rewards for are, it. Are and you if, surprised that United are holding the council uh, at this of time? Of course. Well, you, I, I know you, can, Simon. How, you'd be robust no, 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 with no. it. How can you possibly deal have with this? Have we not seen enough? No. How can you possibly deal with this in the rounds without seeing the full 90 minutes? You because don't think they will have? Mm, maybe. Maybe depends what their relationship is with News Corp and depends whether they've got that leverage. If they if they have, they will have seen it. They'll be considering their position. What they won't do is they won't dance to anybody else's tune. I agree. They'll do with it. Yesterday, when they, when they saw the front page headline in the Sun, Manchester United betrayed me. Is that is that not enough? See, I I look at it and say, what's happening here is there is a new regime in town. United are beginning to pull themselves together a little bit, and Ten Hag is not going to take any prisoners, and that's the job he was brought in to do. Fortunately, the team is beginning to regain some poise, so we don't have a backstory of the the fact they're halfway down the table not winning games they might not be compelling but they're in the top five on the table they're building some momentum and they're changing the culture and so Ronaldo whilst it's an enormous story because of the scale of his footballer's representation mm. in the press yeah. to me it's a divisive footballer that doesn't want to be at a football club anymore it's it cut the limb off yes is it time up for Ronaldo is that it but is not it, on is, his terms is there a United not fan on his in terms. the land who would still indulge in him Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.